Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with a WBZ News update. Local lawmakers have switched the language of a ballot measure after it was overwhelmingly approved by Massachusetts voters. Question one got more than 71% of the vote, letting state auditor Diana DeSoglio audit the legislature. But yesterday, the House voted to amend it, having DeSoglio choose an outside firm for the audit. Now, one lawmaker said it's going to help keep the process professional. DeSoglio said it was, quote, slapping voters in the face. Former Boston Mayor Marty Walsh out as the Biden administration's pick to serve on the USPS governing board. His appointment had been stalled in the Senate since February, and then yesterday the White House withdrew his nomination without explanation. Hey, Brockton City Council looking to crack down on homeless encampments. Councilors voted in favor of a camping ban on public property this week. They say it's part of an effort to keep streets clean. Of course, as temperatures drop, others are raising concerns for unhoused people, noting the city's shelters are full. Now, if this ban is approved, repeat offenders could face a $200 fine. No one is immune of being homeless. None of us. And there are multiple reasons why someone can become homeless. Multiple reasons. And by virtue of having something like this, I mean, in my view, I think it is unacceptable. And it's morally wrong. The main concerns are uh, the encampments uh, on our public property, uh, especially underneath our bridges, along our sidewalks and alleyways, and in the parks uh, next to our schools. Brockton's mayor still has final say over whether the ordinance will be put into place. His office estimates between 50 to 70 people sleep on the streets every night. All right, time for a check of your next weather forecast. Here's meteorologist Jason Michael. Chris, time now to right the ship. Certainly in terms of temperatures as we head towards the afternoon, a modest warm-up will be in place as we head towards the early afternoon and certainly going to be sizable once we get into the weekend here. Still with some 20s and 30s outside for the start of our Friday, necessary heavy coat to start, and then you could throw it in the back seat later on this afternoon. If you desire to stay indoors today, it's actually National Clean Out Your Fridge Day. Doesn't sound too fun, but temperatures will still be relatively nice ice as well as sky conditions. 50s across the board here, friends. A little bit of cooler weather is going to be developing out towards the Cape and the islands. Obviously, we still also have that fire risk in and around the area with that red flag warning also in effect through about 6 p.m. later on this evening. It will likely extend to tomorrow as well. In terms of rain chances, they hold out at least until the end of the seven day. Meanwhile, temperatures will be mild in the afternoons, still chilly in the overnights. But by Wednesday, we certainly begin to see a sizable storm system developing across the lower 48, moving east of the Mississippi possibly bringing some shower activity to our region by the end of next week. Wow. All right, Jason, be looking for that. This has been a WBZ News Update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.